All right, what is up, YouTube? Flourish at RLC, and really quick, I know you guys have been wanting a roster update. I don't know why, because my team has literally like never changed. All I do is make like one or two changes occasionally, and I always tell you guys about it. <laughs> but anyway, so this is my team right now. Of course, we got Otto Graham, quarterback, 96 Shane Vereen, um, 89 Jamal Charles. Of course, we got DeAnthony Thomas, just to return kicks again. The um, wide receivers are the same. That Antonio Brown that everyone got for free, uh, he's back there too. We also again did cook Gronk that everyone got for free. Um, 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 Jason Morrow, Dan Deerdorf, I guess is is, a, is an upgrade you guys might have not have seen. Uh, we got him with the right tackle. I've still been I've still been wanting a new right guard, but there's no like 95 pl plus right guards that don't go for less than 100k. So that's kind of upsetting. So on the defense, the only change we made we got rid of Cleo Mack and we got this NFL movers Bruce Carter. Now Cleo Mack is a beast. Now the already Cleo Mack is a beast, but me I like zone coverage linebacker like I like my linebackers that can cover and Bruce Carter has 87 freaking catch and 94 zone coverage and plus he has way higher play rec than uh, Cleo Mack did so that definitely is probably also going to help uh, we also we got this NFL legends Darrell Revis um, also there he's our number one uh, cornerback I decided to pick him up I mean I don't know I just I feel like maybe I should have made like a small upgrade uh, to my cornerbacks he's got really high press high man high zone uh, high play rec so just again really good card that's it we also got this NFL um, this season's veteran Vince Wilfork because I needed uh, like a big body uh, when I'm in my 4-3 defense. I need like a big body in there to stuff the run uh, that also helps out with me and Joe Green. Uh, so that's pretty much the lineup, guys. So let's get right into the gameplay. All right, guys, so we're into the game again in my home stadium. I love my home crowd. I love all you guys that come out and support my team every every Sunday. You guys are amazing. Keep buying tickets, though, because, you know, sales are a little bit down and we need to, you know, pay for more players. <laughs> all right. Anyways, guys, what is up? Back in the game. I'm here with the Steelers jerseys. My opponent, he's got the St. Louis Rams jerseys. And it's weird. His team name was Free Wins or Free Win or whatever. And I was like, um, does that mean he's just going to like quit right when the game starts? No. I, I mean, I don't know what his name was. I don't know what kind of joke it was supposed to be. But uh, he wasn't giving people free wins. He was actually like trying to uh, beat me. But we're not going to let that happen, right? So this is the debut of, uh, of Darrell Revis along with Bruce Carter. Bruce Carter, we decided to get to replace Cleo Mack for now at least because, you know, okay, one, Cleo Mack has, doesn't have as good of play rec, and I definitely love my linebackers having good play rec. Also, 94 zone coverage for a linebacker and 87 catch for a linebacker, definitely very impressive. He also still has really good catch, really good speed, really good acceleration, really good tackling, good hit power. So you know what? He's pretty much just like... Like, Cleo Mack's good at block shedding, so, like, if you put him on a blitz, he can, you know, shed the blocks. But Bruce Carter definitely is more of a coverage linebacker. He's more of, like, a like a middle linebacker, who you know, but he's, like, a right outside linebacker. So, my three linebackers, um, Carter, Keekly, and uh, Fowler are definitely, I think they're some of the best coverage linebackers you can find, you know, that aren't, like, 99 overall. Uh, so, I'm pretty proud of that. You know, me, I just, I just like having... Um, Linebackers are that are good in coverage. I really, really prefer it. And right there, it takes a deep shot to the end zone, but we're there to break it up. So after he took the entire quarter to drive down the field, he gets away with just a field goal. So now we get to come out on offense again. DeAnthony Thomas, welcome home. DeAnthony, man, we, we missed you, DeAnthony. We missed you, okay? Because, I mean, it was Deshaun Jackson was an absolute struggle. I think that it was more frustrating trying to return kicks with Deshaun Jackson than... I mean, just you, th I think it's more frustrating than you think. You think, well, I mean, he can't be that bad. No, he was pretty damn bad. I'm not going to lie. That Deshaun Jackson kind of sucked at returning kicks, and I'm not quite sure why. So you may see he has free safety Calvin, but that's the 85 overall, so I'm not, again, not, like, too worried. If it was the golden ticket, I'd be, like, freaking out so hard right now. Uh, but so, again, man, we got to cheese because, you know, when you're an all-Madden first string, you, like, have no choice but to cheese. Like, you just, you have, the only way to beat cheese is to cheese. So, therefore, there's a lot of cheese. So you might see, and, whoa, okay, Luke Keekly just absolutely just jumped and made, like, the most miraculous CPU catch ever, and as you know, my players would never do anything like that. Like, that's that's what frustrates me about this game, is that my opponents get stuff like that that would absolutely never happen to me. That w My player would just, like, stand there and, like, watch it go over his head uh, because my luck in this game. So now he's in 
he's now we're in risk of letting him score. But Antoine Bethea, well, hey, Antoine Bethea actually did what um what I wanted him to do. So we get so we get the pick, we get the ball back. Definitely bail us out. Coming close to the two minute warning. Shane Vereen not able to get much. Man, the run game was kind of struggling this game, but the pass game sure sure wasn't. Otto Graham on the option. We're trying to see if we can't get with Otto Graham. Otto Graham, I love this one. He's a very tough quarterback, so he's not going to fumble very much. Like, I don't think I've seen him fumble once for me yet. So, again, we're just trying to drive down the field, trying to score a touchdown because we get the ball at half. So, again, scoring would really mean a lot. Gronkowski and Gronk's got some room. And you know what? I didn't like this guy. I really did not. So, I dive down. I force him to take his timeouts. Um, and then I, you know, take my time trying to get into the end zone. So, now with a minute 22 left, uh, that, that, that's all he has to score right here before the half. Uh, we do not want him to score. So, here on the kickoff. And he fumbles the ball. What? D'Angelo Hall's got it. No one is there. And D'Angelo Hall recovers. Covers the fumble on the kickoff, and we take it home, and we are now in the lead, 14 to three. Now, holy crap, that that's a huge turnaround. That is huge for us. Just, uh, just an absolute momentum sh shifter, because now he's in panic time. He's just going to be like chucking balls like as deep as he possibly can, you know, trying to you know m make up time. And so now we're bringing him out of his comfort zone, and that's what you want to do when you're playing Madden. You want to bring your opponent out of their comfort zone. See, he's throwing deep. Marcus Peters is there, and watch this. This is how you juke out players. You just just using the sticks. What? Uh oh, you you're not catching Marcus. Look, I don't know why I do not see people do this. Like, am I the only person that does? Cause see, when you know I you know I play like an entire like franchise, you know, like uh, against this, like uh, connected careers or whatever, and I like learned how to juke out the CPU by just like by just like you know slithering like a snake. I I don't know why I don't see more people do that. It's very very effective. Um, and I use it all the time, and that's how I was able to get that return. So, 100-yard uh, interception return, and um, now that makes it 21 to three. Definitely changes the momentum of this game because then we get ball at half. We can make it a 28 to three game. Well, actually, now d depending on the kick return, we could make it a 35 to three game after halftime you know once we get the ball back to anthony thomas not able to get much we still have eight seconds to go so we come out and fake field goal he saw it coming but he still wasn't able to <laughs> he still wasn't able to um lock up rob gronkowski we dive take a field goal now we're up by 21 points going into halftime and we get the ball back and uh he onside kicks it he doesn't get it and then he decides to try and pause glitch me and you know how well that goes over with me. I, I, I'm sorry, but if you pause glitch, you are a loser. There's, there, there's no word to describe you other than loser. Like, if you seriously have time to just sit at your Xbox and not play a game, like you're not even playing, you're just sitting there waiting for your opponent to either leave or lag out, like, I'm sorry, but you are a loser. And if you pause glitch, please unsubscribe from my channel and never come back. Um, so we just run it right up the gut. Now we're this game is like getting out of control, dude. And I did not like this guy. I was, I mean, he he tried to pause glitch me like three times in the game, you know. And he was like trying to showboat and stuff. So I I was trying to run up the score. I was trying to get the ball back. And I was like, you know what, man? I'm putting the pedal to the metal. And you know, what? I'm not gonna let up on this kid, not one bit. And I mean, I kind of, I guess I do a little bit, but but still, man. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you pause glitch, you're you're a loser. I'm sorry, but there's you know, you're a loser. And I seriously. Uh, hope that like your Madden disc breaks, or I hope you get banned from Xbox some way, somehow, and you're never able to play Madden again uh, because you're just that much of a douchebag and that much of a. And and again, like, what kind of douchebag literally has the time to waste? Like, I mean, I mean, like, it's not the fact that you're playing it; it's just the fact that you literally have the time to sit at your. Like, I had this one guy. I was hanging out with my friend when this happened, so I didn't really care. I was, you know, I just did, I just did stuff with him. You know, and, um, you know, kind of just, like, waited it out or whatever. And he literally, he kept it paused for, like, seven hours. And then it unpaused. And, I mean, like, like, do you really have time to sit at your Xbox for seven hours to win a video game? Like, good lord. I mean, like, I just, I don't understand. I mean, like, just, oh, my God, man. Just, it's ridiculous, dude. I, I'm sorry, but you're, you're a loser. You're a loser. Like, I... 
Anyway, so this game escalated pretty quickly. I, I remember, like, right before half, it was just about to be, a, like, a 7-3 to three game, and then it turned around it, into this. Um, so, you know, I mean, it just goes to show that, I mean, games can change just like that. And definitely that um, that fumble return for a touchdown we got on that kickoff, that definitely helped. Right here, I want a touchdown with Gronkowski. I want him to Gronk the ball. That's exactly what we're going to get. He's going to rage quit the game. He's a little bitch. Because he decided, uh, well, he doesn't rage quit yet. I wish he did, but, uh, but he, you know, uh, I think he paused it for like one more time. We get the nice pick with Bruce Carter, man. <laughs> oh, man. But, um, so yeah, guys, so again, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you miss, and hit this guy in the face because he's a pause glitching loser, go ahead. That's fine, too. <laughs> Anyways, guys, again, thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for everything you guys have done for me over the past few months. I seriously appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. I love you all. Thank you all so much. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Have a great day.